We'll start by paying a visit to Mother Teresa. <laughs> I mean, the Cathedral of St. Mother Teresa. This is a Roman Catholic cathedral dedicated to the world's most famous nun. In 2005, the foundation stone was ceremoniously laid by the former president of Kosovo, Ibrahim Rogova, himself a Muslim. The unfinished cathedral was inaugurated in September 5, 2010 as part of the event commemorating the 100th anniversary of her birth and was formally consecrated seven years later on September 5, 2017. 20 years after Mother Teresa's death. The cathedral has a beautiful interior natural lighting during the daytime, involving the sun coming through the stained glass and creating a stunning effect on otherwise a largely white church. However, the biggest draw of the cathedral is the bell tower, from which you can see the whole city and the surrounding area. This beautiful cathedral was constructed in the name of the Mother Teresa, the mother of love. She had been uh, born here in Kosovo, but then she go as missionary in India. She is an Albanian, but she loved all the people like same, you know. And I uh, hope you all came here to visit the cathedral. This cathedral was constructed in 2007, but was uh, finished in 2008. And last year we celebrated the colonization of Mother Teresa in the Vatican. So this is also where you get a really, really, really awesome 360 view of Pristina. And you can uh, see out all the way to the mountains here, the snow-capped mountains, which is true, pretty uh, magnificent. Across the cathedral, you find one of the most recognizable landmarks in Pristina that resemble a giant prison. But it's actually the National Library of Kosovo. The building was completed in 1986. Despite many calling the building one of the ugliest in the country, it certainly is a unique architectural effort and captures the spirit of the country recently ravaged by war and working to move forward and rebuild. There are more than 2 million library items, including rare materials such as books, newspaper, manuscript, maps, and photographs. There are two reading rooms, and an amphitheater and a meeting hall. It has been used by Croatian and Bosnian refugees as a living quarter and by Serbian army as a command center, during which many historical books were destroyed. Beside the library, you'll find the most popular and lively street in the city, the Mother Teresa Boulevard. This is the main street of Pristina and consists of cafes, shops, and a bit of invasion from the good old USA, at least when it comes to the donuts. It's also home to the city's main square. Now this is a main square here in Pristina. It's called Zaya Piety Square. It's named after the first commander of Kosovo Liberation Army and people refer him as the first gun of freedom. The Macedonian-born Albanian joined Kosovo Liberation Army in 1997 and later that year he was one of the first killed in the gunfight with the Yugoslav Army, one of the main triggers of the Kosovo War. Oh, by the way, my mistake, that is not the name of the square. The square is also home to many gatherings, celebrations, and most importantly, a place for Kosovo to exercise their democracy by protesting. It's not a surprise for any new democracy to encounter many social challenges. Majority of the protests in Pristina happens outside the country's National Assembly at the end of the Mother Teresa Boulevard. The building of the Assembly of the Republic of Kosovo was built in the 50s. The interior consists of a planetary hall as a debate chamber, the office for the elected members and parliamentary staff, the presidential office and its cabinet, as well as assembly library and a visitor center.
It was getting late. I'm a little hungry and I'm always on the lookout for some good food on a budget that is. Since I'm trying to eat healthy, <laughs> let's go with some lean chicken. I want to give you an idea is how on average how much the food actually costs here. This is a uh, stuffed chicken with rice and salad and served with bread that's on the house. This costs 3.5 euros or four dollars and twenty-five cents. First up, let's try the chicken. It is uh, crispy chicken and uh, stuffed with cheese and another piece of chicken breast. So, let's give it a shot. There's also some carrot inside here. What you also get is basically ketchup and mayonnaise. I like to keep things simple. It's really tender, so that's one thing I like about it, the rice. I think the rice needs a bit more seasoning than the salt, but it's pretty good. I have this gorgeous 24 year old, beautiful lady. But hey, with so many lovely ladies here, it's a crime for me to eat alone. With a little luck, I got a date with this lovely girl who's determined to show me some traditional Kosovo dishes. Uh, this is called Shifta, Adacha Baba. Those are still different, but I wanted him to try both of them because they are kind of local food. You can also find those in other Balkan countries. But here in Kosovo, it's kind of traditional way to make meat. And it's combined with a few vegetables. 